What is going on guys? It's Kevin from Wolf Strings and I am back making YouTube videos for you guys. So it turns out that being a head coach of a lacrosse team at the college level takes a lot of time. So sorry I haven't been making videos in a while. Uh, I've been trying to run the program over at Portland State University. As longtime subscribers of the channel will know that I am the head coach there. So uh, yeah guys, sorry about that. Uh, but you know, we had to take some time off to really focus on growing that program out there. But I'm excited to be back for you guys. I'm excited to get back into reviews, talking about lacrosse stuff, uh, all good stuff happening on the Wolf Strings channel. So now's a good time to tell you guys, if you wanna get back in the game and keep up with Wolf Strings, hit the subscribe button down below. That's really gonna help me out to create more videos for you guys. And you know, it gives me more feedback on what kind of videos you guys would like to see uh, and what kind of things we should talk about down in the comments. So yeah, hit the subscribe button. Help me grow this little YouTube channel, um, and I'd really appreciate it. So thank you guys. All right, so today we are talking about Prime Mesh from Jimalax. So it's super exciting to hear that Jimalax is back in the game. Uh, they have come out with a new piece of mesh, and it is called Prime Mesh, so a really awesome name. Obviously, Jimalax has been working hard with East Coast Eyes on creating their hero line of mesh products, and it's really good to see them back in the game, uh, kind of updating some of their own mesh and giving us a really great piece of material to work with here. So I'm excited to talk about it with you guys. So when we want to compare prime mesh to something and we want to figure out what it's like, um, should we compare it to Hero 2.0? Should we compare it to String King Type 3X or String King Type 3S? Or should we compare it to Memory Mesh from STX? No guys, I think the thing we should really compare Prime Mesh to is, that's right, Money Mesh, the OG from Jimala. Still a really great piece of mesh. Um, and I think we need to be thinking about Prime as an update to, me uh, to Money Mesh. So why make the comparison from Money Mesh to Prime Mesh? Well, I think it's really easy to compare it to Hero Mesh, to String King, to Memory Mesh, to all the uh, other types of mesh out there like Throne Fiber. It's really easy to make that comparison, but we need to be thinking about Prime as more of a Money Mesh 2.0. To let you guys in on my train of thought here, uh, let's talk about Money Mesh real quick. So my two favorite things about Money Mesh was that it was inelastic, so it did not bag out at all, and it was super, super strong. Uh, you guys remember this stick if you've been a longtime subscriber of the channel. This is my ever trusty Maverick Optic strung up with a piece of Money Mesh. And I strung this up as soon as Money Mesh came out back in 2014, I think. Uh, maybe longer, I don't remember. But around 2014, this stick got strung up. Now, this pocket has not bagged out at all. Uh, it's exactly the same depth from when I strung it, and this pocket has seen quite a bit of use. Having a mesh that's as completely inelastic as Money Mesh was is super awesome, um, especially up here in the Northwest where I live because we get a lot of rain, a lot of cold weather, a lot of elements are going to, going to bag out uh, you know, a, your traditional style pocket. Another great benefit to Money Mesh was that it was so tough. It never broke on me, I never had a piece rip, I never had any problems with it. Every time I strung it up for a customer or for one of the players on my team, uh, they never reported any problems with durability. So the two things that I did not like about Money Mesh was that it was way too thick, so the actual thickness of the mesh uh, was just a little awkward to deal with. Uh, if you try to do a more complicated knot on the side, like a stacked SI or something, it just bunched up too high and it created too much of a, too much material to deal with on the sidewall. The second thing I didn't like about Money Mesh was that the stiffness was just too hard for me. Um, if you really wanted to have like a shiftier pocket or kind of a low setting pocket that could move around, uh, it was just too stiff to really work around the ball. Uh, it had an advantage there as it created a lot of hold, but it was just way too stiff, especially the first time you strung it up. And even this pocket, which is years old, 
is still pretty rough and pretty stiff and it's just not going to move around a lot but it did keep the mesh consistent so guys looking at prime mesh i think we can now make some comparisons to prime mesh to money mesh in the fact that they fixed all the things that were wrong with money mesh and gave us prime so guys in prime mesh we get a tighter weave in the mesh a lot more texture and less bagging out than a traditional piece of uh, high performing mesh on the market today. Now Jim Lax doesn't really tell us what these fibers are in prime mesh, but we can assume it's really similar to a lot of the polyester type of meshes on the market, like a hero mesh or a thrown fiber or a, a memory mesh, something like that. Uh, something that's going to be completely hydrophobic, not let water um, absorb into it and something that's going to not stretch out and is inelastic. So what did they fix on prime mesh compared to the money mesh? So for one guys, it's very, very thin. It's very comparable to uh, hero mesh from East Coast Dyes. So I like that it's way thinner and easier to string up. And the second thing that they fixed was the hardness. So this is in a, a semi-soft uh, configuration right now. Maybe they'll come out with a semi-hard, who knows? Uh, but right now the semi-soft is a very great stiffness. I would say it's just a tad harder than the semi-soft Hero Mesh. That being said, it does create a really, really great pocket in a stick. Uh, it's able to shift around a lot while still staying defined. And we're not going to have as much bagging as uh, a lot of other meshes on the market. And I'm really confident in that because Money Mesh performs so well. I think that Jim Alax really knows how to control bagging out in a pocket. So if this stick can go through this much use and abuse through all these elements, uh, I'm confident that Prime Mesh will be able to do the same. So as you guys can see, I have Prime Mesh strung up in the new Adidas Freak Head. Uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the review of the Adidas Freak Head. Um, it's a really great head, has a very, very tight face shape and it really allowed me to get a very great channel and pocket uh, with prime mesh. So prime mesh uh, strings up really well like I said and I think you guys are going to find it really easy to work with, a lot easier than money mesh. Uh, I think for the price uh, it's definitely worth it to invest into it. So it's only $14.99 for the, the mesh piece and it's $9.99 for the string pack which uh, is really similar to the Hero Mesh String Pack, so you get five sidewalls, two shooters, and three uh, shooting laces, as well as a screw. And if you want to pick up the entire kit, you can get it for $22.99, I believe. Prime Mesh is available on my website right now. Check the link in the description box. If you want to pick up Prime Mesh from Wolf Strings, I'd really appreciate that. And as far as the durability goes, I just strung it up and it just came out guys, so obviously I have not used it long enough to really test out the durability. But like I said before, I'm very confident that this mesh is going to hold up. Um, on all the bridges of the mesh, uh, they are double reinforced, so they're very thick. Um, however, that does not affect the softness of the pocket, it's still very shifty and a very thin mesh. And probably one of my favorite features of it that they kind of kept from the original Money Mesh was that extremely rough texture on the inside of the pocket. So it almost kind of hurts to rub your hand against the inside of the pocket. And uh, that's a really good thing, guys, because to me that creates a lot more hold without having to string such a, a tight and defined pocket. The mesh is gonna do the work for you. So I think Jim Malax knocked it out of the park with the new Prime Mesh. All right, guys, so in conclusion, I really, really like Prime Mesh. I think the best way to think about this is a Money Mesh 2.0. Uh, it's, it's not really comparable to a lot of the other meshes on the market simply because Jim Alax does have their own unique way of doing things and I truly think uh, that this mesh is gonna be something um, that's gonna be a staple in the, in the stringing community. So yeah guys, I hope you pick some up. Uh, again, it's available on my website, link in the description below. And thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Wolf Strings YouTube channel and I'll talk to you guys next time.